Hello friends, welcome to Learn Positive with Pradeep Kumar. If you are watching my channel, like, share, comment and subscribe. Click the bell icon. Manufacturing Process Unit 1 Foundry Technology Part 3 If you want to see my previous videos, please click the i button on the top of the video to see all my playlist and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Today topic is Pattern Elements. So, it is difference from casting in certain dimensions. So, for this purpose, we have to give some allowance to the pattern dimension. So, the pattern size is, pattern is different from the casting by, the, by its dimension. Because of the casting dimension is smaller than the pattern dimension due to some allowance. So, the allowance because of shrinkage and various conditions. If the metal uh, if we melt the metal, the volume of the metal will be increased. If we cool the metal, the volume of the metal will be decreased due to the metal shrinkage. So, this kind of solidification made the metal contract uh, due to machining, uh, machining elements, damages and solidifications etc. So, due to this, we avoid this, we have to make some pattern allowances. Now, we are going to see about the different types of pattern allowances. The allowances are shrinkage allowance, machining allowance, draft allowance, distortion allowance, finally wrapping allowance. So these are the allowances. Now we are going to see the these allowances one by one briefly. The first one is shrinkage allowance. So when the molten metal is poured into the mold cavity, it will solidify and cool. During cooling, the material will shrink and reduce in size. To compensate this, the pattern is made larger than the required shape. This extra size give on the pattern for metal shrinkage. It is called as shrinkage elements. Now see the image friends. The red one is the molten metal in the first image. And now we are going to cool the mold and see the right image friends. It become shrink. It is shrinking due to cooling. So, the size is vary from the left to right. No? So, this is called shrinkage elements. If we forget to give this shrinkage elements, the metal will, uh, the casting we got finally means it will be a reduced size, undersized casting. So, it will not be, re, uh, it will not be reworked. So, we have to de uh, destroy it. So, we have to reuse it by melting again and again we have to take the mold and then we have to pour the motor metal and give shrinkage. The next one is machining elements or finishing elements. Uh, friends, all the casting are to be machined to finish the rough surface to remove the excess material. So, the cast we get the casting in a rough condition so we have to finish the casting by removing the metal so we, to, we have to remove the metal by using the machine so we get the smooth surface and also in the casting final casting we get runner and riser on the runner riser and gate on the casting material so we have to remove that by using a machine so for this purpose the pattern is made larger than the required casting this extra size that is added to the pattern for machining purpose. So, it is called machining allowance or finishing allowance. So, for iron and steel we use 3 mm allowance machining allowance. For brass and aluminium we use 1.5 mm machining allowance. We have to add this uh, measurement in the pattern. So, next one is draft allowance. So, when a pattern is removed from the mold, the edges of the mold may be damaged due to the square shape or complicated shapes. So, for this we have to increase some tapper on the vertical surface of the pattern. So, this slight tapper gives on the vertical surface of the pattern is called draft elements. Due to the tapper surface, the mold will not be distracted or destroyed. So, we can avoid the uh, destruction in the mold due to this draft elements. These draft elements usually have 3 mm per meter. 
So the next one is distortion allowance or chamber allowance. So some casting because of this shape and size may wrap or distortion during the cooling. This is due to uneven metal thickness. To avoid this shape of pattern is slightly bent in the opposite direction. Friends, now see the first image. This is our final casting. But if we uh, had the pattern in the same uh, shape means it will we get the final casting as the second diagram. So the upper flange was bended towards our top. So we have to avoid this kind of error. We have to measure the upper flange angle and now we have to give the uh, pattern to the opposite side of bending. See the third image friends. The eye section was bended towards downwards uh, in the same value of the second image. So now we are going to uh, make the pattern as the third diagram and we get uh, ca casting final casting means we have requ uh, we have get the required shape of the casting as in the first diagram. I am giving an example of the U section. It was simple to understand. For example, a U section shape may be destroyed and the legs become diverse inside of being parallel. So see friends, the U shape was given in the first diagram. If we do the pattern on the same U shape, the pattern will, uh, the casting we will get at the final is the third one. It was uh, bending towards inside. If uh, we calculated the how much it was bended towards inside and we have to make the pattern as a second diagram. So we have to move the legs to the opposite side of the shrinkage and then we made the pattern. Now we are going to cast means the final casting will be as the first diagram it will be a perfect U shape. The legs will be in parallel position. So to avoid this, the legs are slightly bent, converged. So after cooling, the legs will be parallel and correct. This is called distraction allowance or camber allowance. Now the next one. It is the final allowance, wrapping allowance. Before removing the pattern from the mold, the pattern is shaken from side to side. This is called wrapping. So the mold cavity may become larger. To avoid this pattern, in made is made slightly smaller. So this allowance is given on the pattern is called wrapping allowance. This is a negative allowance. If we shake the pattern in all side to remove the pattern from the mold, the mold will get damaged or it will expand its cavity. So due to the shaking, it was expanded 1, 1 or 1 1.5 mm more than the pattern size. So we have calculated that before and reduced the 1 or 1 1.5 mm pattern beforely from the pattern size. So it is called wrapping allowance. So uh, we are reducing the uh, dimension from the pattern means. So this is a negative allowance also. Friends, if you like this video, please give the thumbs up, share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.